Okay, we're back. So what I'm going to uh, do now here is we're going to work on, uh, this is part two of the video tutorial. So if you'd like to see how I did this flower, you'd have to go to part one. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here now is let's do this flower right here. And this is going to be kind of like a yellowy sun, not a sunflower, but in the same kind of colors. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is, sorry, I know I need to point this out, but I just broke my nail right when I started filming, so I'm just going to leave it. So anyway, now let's go like this here. First, I'm going to take this, start with this color here, which is PC917, and this is a sunburst yellow. It's kind of an orangey yellow color. And I'm just going to go right in this area here, and I'm going to just go around and do this whole area here just like so all right and just fill in all these areas and I'm gonna go all the way around and I'll be back when it's done now let's take uh, this is um, PC 1005 and this is lime peel and just fill in all of these little areas here it's just nothing fancy just there's no really shading involved here. I just fill them in. Okay. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to get my phone. Life happens. So now what I'm going to do here is let's take um, uh, cad cadmium orange, which is PC118. Okay. And Let's see how to explain this. Just lightly, just uh, go and we're going to try to deepen in the shades to start giving it uh, the beauty, the beauty of the flower. And I just, you know, again with my little flicking technique, just because I like that look, you know, of the, just to have the lines, like I say, makes it look just a lot more natural. And I do that same technique. I use that a lot. So if you follow me and you like my style, then that's how you do it. And we're just going to come around here. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's about it, really. I'm just going to go like that. And then let's do this. Just give it a nice shade. Okay. And just do that same process all the way around. Just start darkening it here. Make your little flickeries, your little flickeries go up and around. Mm -hmm. Kind of go higher, kind of higher up on the sides and then lower down here. And then again higher and just kind of go up the little petal. Go up the little petal and then just take your time. You know, have fun. That's what this is all about. And just lay down this pretty orange color. All right. And I'll do the same on all these and I'll be back. Now that's all done. Let's take, um, uh, no, not dollar purple. I'd like to use a different color. Let's try this espresso PC one zero nine nine. Okay, and we're gonna take this espresso here. Up, oh, sorry about this, but I am going to. Yep, have, that just had to happen. Okay, <laughs> espresso, um, and this is what we're gonna do here. Is I'm just gonna outline these. That's why I needed it sharp because I I wanted to. Um, you know, you have to get in these areas, so you got to have that sharp. So I'm going to go around and do all of this along the sides, and then also I'm going to do around these green little guys, okay? So take Espresso and do that same thing all the way around, and I will come back when that's done. Okay. Now, to achieve this kind of this look here, there's still going to be more that I'm going to do on this petal, but um, 
I just take um, this uh, permanent red, which is PC122, and just uh, just like the other techniques, just lay it in, in with that flickering effect, um, and just bring the color out, and this just deepens it a little bit, and then if you want it a little darker, you know, like just to create a little more depth, just put a little bit more pressure. Just a little bit more pressure, so I'm kind of I'm just coming around here. Then just flick up, flick up, and just blend it up so it has a nice smooth finish. Okay, then take the um, Let's use this. Let's take, grab a, uh, this is called Salmon Pink, PC1001, and then let's just throw that, <laughs> apply it, uh, right in here, in the, the kind of use it, not quite as a blending tool, but just get the middle area, okay, and then finish it off by taking your just your plain white and um, I just um, rub my my pencil onto a clean piece of paper just to make sure that the tip is clean because if you have a dirty tip then it's gonna ruin your beautiful beautiful masterpiece here so then I'm just gonna take the white and blend it all in for a smooth look and it'll make this look like a beautiful petal. Alright, so I just smooth that in like so. And there we go. Voila. I think what we need to do is add a little bit more, take that cat orange again and just darken it again because the white kind of left a little white haziness and in the dark areas we kind of want it to stay rich you know that really rich feel so let's re-add a little bit of that and do the same thing on all these petals and then we will move to do this little fella okay so I will continue doing this and then I will be back I finished and completed this flower and now we're going to be working on this pretty flower right over here using these colors right here. Um, for your information I put this uh, down here. I'm also going to be making um, an adult coloring book uh, guide to coloring flowers, leaves, trees, etc. and it'll be kind of similar where I'll have a flower and then I'll have the colors that I used for that flower. So um, uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, uh, let's go through here and continue with this um, flower. So for the colors here, um, I'm going to use PC928, which is um, a blush pink. And then I'm going to use PC926, which is the carmine red. And then I'm going to use um, a dark umber. If you want to get these out ahead of time, it's kind of helpful. The dark umber. And then I use uh, the uh, handy dandy lime peel, which I use a lot, which is uh, the PC1005. And then I'm going to put in some 30% um, warm gray for some shading, which I also use a lot. So now let's continue on with this process over here. So let's do this beautiful little flower, little pink flower. Alright, here we go. So let's start by taking um, a, um, I turn my work, so sorry if that bothers you, but I have to because I can't do it, otherwise I'm not really good at the filming it. Now I'm going to take my the blush pink and just uh, lightly put it in, same technique that I've been using with my little flickering technique, and just putting in the, maybe if I turn it you can see better, let's try this. Um, putting in the color here like this okay and then flicking it out and I want to leave um, the light in the middle of the flower sometimes I do it on the end sometimes I do it towards the middle sometimes I do it um, 
you know, like where it's just the absolute middle, like the throat. So, I don't know. It just depends. Okay, so I'm going to go through and then just put the blush pink uh, all around these flowers, and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is all done here now, and it's looking pretty delicate and nice. So now let's take out this uh, Carmine Red, which is the PC926, and just on the edges, just ever so lightly on the edges, just go along the edges to give it a little bit of some definition. Okay, just like so. We'll go right on the edge like that. So it gives a little bit of definition. Then um, just take your and do your flicking technique. Well, and just add some here like that. Just to, like that. All right, and then I'm going to do that around this whole flower. Now this is looking pretty. So let's take. Uh, this lime pill and for the um, the middle of this little star let's put the lime pill in here okay and then uh, that looks good now let's take the carmine uh, red and go uh, lightly on the inside of this. And just fill it in. And then take the carmine red and outline it darker. Just on the edges. Right? Do that all the way around. Take the warm gray, which is um, uh, PC1052, and this is a good color. Um, I use this a lot for shading um, because it, when you mix this with the with the red or a pink, it kind of gives a uh, you know kind of like a purpley or a pinkish type of a feel to it. But it just adds a little bit of a warm shade. So I just uh, let's put this on the outside edge here, just to add a nice little tone to it here okay and do this and that's about it just in a little bit of areas there okay I just wanted to add that in the bottom probably wasn't even necessary but I thought I'd just do it anyway okay now uh, let's take the uh, espresso, and with the actually I'm sorry we're doing a um, dark umber um, on the outside here, and just give it a little oomph, a little oomph, nice fine line, okay. And then I'm just going to do that all the way around. And then let's do, um, uh, a little bit on the inside here of the throat with the dark umber. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay. Just to bring out the middle a little bit. Just bring out the middle just a little. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And put the middle in that color too. Dark umber. And this flower is done. I just have to go around those edges there. But so there's your tutorial on how to do these kind of flowers.
I'll work on it a little bit more and then uh, we will move on to this flower next. Now I wanted to work on this flower here. Uh, just did a little bit of cleaning up and working on this uh, little guy. Now um, the colors that I want to use for um, this are going to be PC 108, Parma Violet, uh, we got the gray, the gray Lavender, the Lion Peel, Pale Sage, Black Grape, and Espresso. The numbers are all here. If you want to get them out, uh, you can pause this video and then you can get all the colors out. You need to do this uh, little fella. Okay, so let's start by taking the Parma Violet, and which is the PC 1008 Parma Violet, and just start doing the same technique that we were using on all the other flowers and go all the way around. This one doesn't have a little leaf, so I'll get my, better give it a little leaf, huh? Okay. So just go all the way down and there's no line, so just make a little line for to separate the flowers or the petals. And then just go all the way around using the same technique, but making it a little darker on the edges. And yeah, there we go. And then we'll do that same technique all the way around. To fill in the flower, take the gray lavender, PC1036, and just uh, fill it in. And this one isn't really, uh, just use a nice light touch and just fill it in. Go all the way through to this area in here where these little cute little stamens, I think they are called that, are popping out. And then just a light touch, not real heavy. Not really light, but just not heavy enough to burnish and uh, press down the paper. And there we go. Okay. Well, and we'll go on now to the next step. Put a little bit here, actually. All right. So let's take um, the. Uh, Let's start with the pale sage, and let's take the uh, pale sage here, and let's do the middle of this little guy. Just do the middle nice. This is a really pretty color for leaves and stuff. I don't think it's used enough, actually. I really like this color. And let's just do that. Okay. A nice pale sage going. Okay, then let's take our handy dandy lime peel and just go around to give it the glow. Bring it into, bring it in and around the line also to give it that halo effect. I think it's gradually spreading out. Oh, it's good. And now, uh, let's take the uh, some black grape, the darker black grape, and just fill in all of these little guys here, just like so. Just go around all of them until they're all filled in. Okay, so now here is a beautiful flower. Let's take espresso now, and uh, with the espresso. Just go lightly on the edges here. Yeah, I'm recording, please. So sorry. See, life happens. You know, I'm trying to film in the day, and I'm sorry if you guys, you know, I got I got six kids, dogs, grandkids, and you know, and my office doesn't. I mean, it's open. The doors open. So sometimes you'll hear talking if you follow me, and it's just the way it is. And I got teenagers, so it's pretty crazy around here. So just outline it in this espresso here, and it it gives a nice 
it just gives a nice feel to it so I'm gonna do the whole thing rest of that so uh, again here are the colors in case you needed to see them again pause it and then you can uh, uh, no, and then what I would do if I were you, well, I would buy my book that I'm going to make, but uh, uh, just, you know, write this down, and then if you ever uh, make like a little book for yourself, and when you want to do flowers, say, huh, do I want to do a purple flower, or whatever, and you can have these, and keep in mind that, okay, so this is what we use to do all that. So I, one thing I want to finish, though, is I do want to add a little bit of oomph to this uh, middle part, so let's kind of bring it out with this uh, espresso. This espresso, I actually use that a lot too because uh, I, I use the dark umber on this one but only because I couldn't find my espresso and didn't want to look for it. Uh, but um, uh, it's, it's got a greenish tint to it. So when I'm doing leaves or flowers, because it's got green, it's a really nice color to use for outlining and stuff like that. So, all right, so I'm going to go finish this, and we will come back and do uh, more. But it's coming along, isn't it? So please just keep following me. I'm going to uh, post this now just on, on this little section so my videos don't get too long. So follow me for the next tutorial. See you there.